but stock is parallel with the ground. Just quickly show you, repeat how to index, wind up the cylinder. Stock can be used inside the chamber here. It closes, the operator can squeeze the trigger. That's our curfew. Milko's a South African company, we were established in 1981, so we've been in the business for over 40 years now. We were actually the first company in the world to design and develop the MGL, the multiple grenade launcher. This uh, fires 40 millimeter grenades, it is compatible with less lethal grenades, so it can be used by law enforcement and police, but it also has a military application of being able to fire the lethal grenades. It can fire low velocity, which is 40 by 46 millimeter caliber, as well as the medium velocity grenade, which is 40 by 51 millimeters caliber. So this, this is a very special weapon. Uh, as I say, it can handle three different types of ammunition, all in the same cylinder. You can fire all six rounds with different ammunition inside. It can be used for tear gas, smoke grenades, uh, less lethal, as well as the lethal the HE, HEDP, the explosive grenades as well. I can quickly show you how to how to operate the, the weapon. This is very very popular with the army. Is it heavy? Uh, it's not too heavy. It's it's about under six kilograms uh -huh. empty. Uh, compared to our competition, it's much lighter than their weapon as than their weapons as well. So compared to the rest of the market, it's, it's much lighter, but it's just as lethal. So we have that technology. We have we're using aircraft grade aluminium as well as a lot of plastic parts and components in the gun weight very light reduced. So I can quickly show you how to operate the weapon, very very simple. So underneath the trigger guard here, you just pull back and then you twist the gun open. Now we can see there's a safety feature where the, the cylinder chamber is not in line with the barrel. You won't be able to see directly through. This is a safety yeah. feature that we have incorporated. So in order to basically cock the weapon, you need to wind up the cylinder. So you put your fingers inside the drum and you simply just turn it, twist it like that until it stops. Now the weapon is ready to be loaded and fired. You can see now that the cylinder is in line with the barrel. So the bullet will exit into the barrel. You load your grenades, six grenades can be, can be used inside the chamber here. You close it, now it's ready to, to fire. So basically there's a the gas plug here. When the ammunition enters into the barrel, it activates the gas plug and this indexes the cylinder onto the next round. So that's how we get such a high rate of fire of this weapon. It is obviously operator dependent, but you can fire all six rounds in less than three seconds. So it's very, very high rate of fire. Um, very easy to operate as well. Now because there's no ammunition in the gun, it will not index onto the next round. But we do have this manual indexing lever. Let's say there is a misfire or a hang fire and it doesn't go outside the barrel, you can simply just turn it on to the next round. So I will just do a simulation because there's no ammunition in basically as fast as the operator can squeeze the trigger, that's how quickly the gun will fire. So if you're squeezing the trigger, you can fire all six rounds very very quickly. We offer a whole bunch of different accessories with the weapon as well. This is our own elevation system that we have developed in-house. It marks with the medium velocity range as well as with the low velocity range. So depending which ammunition you're using, you will get your range finder and you'll see how far the distance of the target is. And then you will set your range plate okay. onto that specific distance. Let's put it maybe at 800 meters. Let's say we're firing 800 meters with the medium velocity grenades. We also have this adjustable buttstock that you angle it, so when you're firing at a far distance, this buttstock is parallel with the ground. It makes it much easier and much more comfortable for the soldiers to, to use the weapon. We also have our own recoil dampener inside the buttstock. So when you fire the weapon and it recoils, it actually collapses on itself. Very comfortable for the, for the operator. You can fire lots and lots of grenades without getting fatigued or your shoulders hurting. 
So yeah, that is basically the ease of operation of the weapon. For sighting systems, we do not manufacture the sights ourselves, but we have multiple partners around the world that we can supply their sights along with our weapons. We also have the compensator in the front of the weapon here. This assists, assists with the muzzle jump, so it keeps, it keeps the gun from jumping up and down too much while you're firing it. And yeah, once you finish firing, you will eject the cases of the grenades, the 40mm grenades. Usually sometimes the casing of the grenades expand once they are fired, so it's a bit difficult to eject them. So you have this knob in the front here, you simply twist it, and then you will push down on the lever, and it's similar to a revolver to exit the, the bullets from the chamber. It makes it easy, you can actually just shake it, and then all the cases will be on the floor, and then it's ready to be fired again. I'll just quickly show you a repeat how to index, wind up the cylinder, stop, and now it's ready to go. Yeah, so that's basically our Super 6 flagship weapon. We've supplied our systems, our 40 millimeter systems, to about 70 countries right now. Number one and number two, fire. Number three, fire. slides onto the Picatinny rail of the primary weapon. It fires both 40 by 46 low velocity ammunition as well as less lethal ammunition. I want to talk you through the full operational procedure. To open the weapon, it's a single action side loading weapon. To open, you pull back on the lever on the bottom of the UBGL, twist it to the side. Now, as it is a single action, the weapon has been cocked. I will load a round of 40 by 46 low velocity target practice round into the barrel of the UBGL. I will close the UBGL. Now the UBGL is ready to be fired. millimeter guns we also have the stopper convertible i'll quickly take you through that this one is only compatible with the less lethal and the low velocity grenades 40 by 46 cannot fire the medium velocity very simple to use as well very lightweight you just pull on this lever open up load your grenade close and it's ready to fire so yeah that's what we have in terms of our of our grenade launchers offerings 